I hope that you are working towards being the best version of yourself. I'm rooting for you always. Welcome to a segment on healing on my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madaba and I hope you like what you see, you join our family and subscribe. So, as you guys can see by the title of today's video, we are going to be talking about healing your inner child. So, uh, for those of you who want a definition of what, you know, inner child is, I'll put it on the screen, but it's basically your original true self, like the the, the kid in you, like the... You know, the person you were as a kid, before life happened to you, before you got rejected, before you got hurt, before you got disappointed, like the inner free, joyful child, no matter where you are in your life, no matter what age you are, you have that, you know, the baby you, the baby version of you inside you. So sometimes this version of us is, is, is hurt, you know, it's very, very scarred because of life and what, you know, we've been through. So I've written down six tips that I used to heal my inner child and still use now to heal my inner child because if we're being honest, healing never ends. Like we're going to live, we're going to die. We're still going to heal from something. Okay. So these tips definitely helped me and continue to help me and made like the healing experience so much better for me. And I'll be sharing them with you and the last tip is the most important tip that is definitely definitely needed to change everything however i do encourage you to implement all those six tips in order for you to have the full experience of healing so that you can better experience life and better connect with other people and live your best life but without wasting any more time let's get straight into the video so tip number one is giving her the things she needed but she never got if you're a guy it's him but basically giving the younger version of you the things that she needed when she was young but she never got them if you needed protection you needed to be accepted and you never got that from your environment whether it's from friends people relationships or from your parents but you never got that you needed affection but you never got that right so in order for you to heal the first kind of like tip i'd say is um for you to give yourself the things that you needed when you were younger but you never got them you need to give them those things to yourself because you need to satisfy the inner kid in you that is you know hurting kind of thing to kind of like make her know that everything is all right and that like she can still receive those things even now you give those things to your inner child okay that's the first tip also these tips are in no particular order but i wrote them in this order the second tip I'd say is affirm her, to boost her confidence, to make her feel seen, to boost her self-esteem, like affirm your inner child each and every single time. Different affirmations that are directed to what you like or like, you know, the hurting version of yourself is your inner child that needs to be healed. Affirm her with like words that are aligned in that direction, you know? The third tip I'd say is to forgive the people who hurt her. Forgive the people who rejected you in whichever phase of your life. Um, forgive the people who disappointed you. Mm, disappointment, child. Forgive the people who were not there for you when you needed them the most. Forgive the people who couldn't listen to you, hear you, you know, um, protect you. Like, you need to forgive those people without, obviously, them saying sorry. You just need to internally forgive them so that you can better be able to carry on, move forward in your healing journey. And the fourth tip I would say is forgive yourself for accepting it all. Like, this is the part that gets me personally the most still even today. Like, obviously, if I'm having my, like offish moment i'd i'd find myself like being harsh on myself for accepting certain things you know that may you know happen to me or whatever or that was said to me but like the fact that i accepted them right but like i am learning and always affirm myself to give myself grace and realize that the version that i was five ten years ago is not the same person that i am right now so the things that i accepted then was because i didn't know better it was because i was afraid it was because a lot of things you know what i mean so Forgiving myself for accepting the things that I've accepted in any kind of like phase of my life. So basically forgive yourself for accepting it all because I feel like as much as, you know, it's easier to blame other people on things. Sometimes if we're being quite really honest, 
you blame yourself for a lot of things and you never really allow yourself to get over it so just forgive yourself the next tip i'd say is self-introspection like looking into yourself you know doing the inner work see being aware of yourself and what the root basically the root of things the causes like of you know why specific things happened you know in the past or like what how your inner child got um wounded in the first place like why are you in the space that you are in now do you know what i mean like and the thing about healing or like when we talk about you know your inner child being scarred i feel like a lot of people feel like it has to be this big massive event that happened in your life and now you need to heal that healing you you can heal from anything right and no matter how small it is but the fact that it changed the way you see life means that you need to heal from that thing because now you need to kind of redirect and restructure how you see life so that you can live from a more free liberating space and a more i can i can achieve anything that i want and a more you know i deserve this i'm enough i'm worthy you can be from that place you know and not just be from a place of lack because of whatever it is that you were rejected with while you were younger do you know what i mean self-introspecting allows you to be kind of like your own therapist to a specific extent like you can't go you know deeper because you have your own you know internal walls that you can't break by yourself you need an external like person to help you which is obviously a therapist and that takes me to my last and final tip which is the most important one seeing a professional therapist yep that is that is for me that's a pending thing like i haven't you know been to a therapist ever in my life yet but it is obviously something that i'm going to have lately because you don't need a therapist only because things are bad. Do you know what I mean? Even when things are good. Like, just having somebody who is not you, who can tell you about you and direct you from a non-biased point of view, you know? Somebody who can help you see beyond your own faults, you know? Somebody who can kind of, like, read between the lines of what you say and how you think and kind of, like, show you and direct you into, oh, no, this is why. You know, this is what happened. Damn here is where you're healing you're hurting or rather you think okay this is what it is and then the therapist tells you okay i see what you see but did you consider this you know this is the deeper root and meaning of things like i feel like it's such an just an exciting experience to go through personally to have a therapist like it is yeah i know those things about myself so it's easier for me to navigate healing but like a therapist is definitely the last tip